Hello everyone and welcome to my May reading vlog. I can't believe it's May, one of my favorite months of the year. Anyway, last night, which was the 1st of May, I finished my first book of the month on my Kindle. And that was Assassin's Quest by Robin Harp, the third book in the Fast Year trilogy, which is the very first trilogy in her very long series of books. The story was good, it really, really was, because I love reading about Fitz, the main character, but the way it was written was so dragging that I almost couldn't believe it. I have never read a book like this that is so long and could have been so short. And it frustrated me a lot. So in the end I gave this book two stars even though I really did like the story. It is now the day after and I have finished the second book I was reading which is a classic Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell and I absolutely love this book. I was in the mood for a classic all of a sudden and so I picked up this humongous novel and I'm so happy I did because this was exactly what I was looking for. A nice and comforting story, a love story that will make you smile and feel hopeful and all of those things. I don't really know where to start. I have put a review of this up on Goodreads which tells about all of my feelings but all in all I love the characters. I love how Elizabeth Gaskell writes this story because she does indicate that a twist will be coming up and then it turns out that that twist is actually exaggerated in a way. I can't really get too much into that without spoiling it but I think this book is better than North and South which seems to be a lot of people's favorite book by her so that might be surprising but this is definitely my favorite of hers. And also I gave this one four and a half out of five stars. It wasn't quite five stars but it was definitely up there. And now I can place back this book on my shelves as being read. I love that feeling. So this is seriously life. I'm sitting in the garden. It's so beautiful outside. I have four days off from work and it is amazing out here. So relaxing. And I have everything set up for me to relax and read. So let me just show you. So I've got my book, my Coke. And also my coloring book so that I can listen to my podcast while coloring and my amazing taco chips or tortilla chips it's called and guacamole. So I'm having a blast out here. Look at this. This picture was taken when Zeus was about four or five months old and this is today when he's over four years old. I think you can see a difference in size. I have spent the last week reading all of the four books in this series, which is the Neapolitan series by Elena Ferrante. And it's been quite an experience to read four books in a week. So I think, well, I have actually decided to do a video review of all of these books. And I'm about to film it, so I'm not going to say too much about it right here. But basically, I really liked it. I gave all books four stars besides from the last one, which I gave three stars. And much more about this series in my review, which will probably be up by the time you watch this video. So this happened. Let's see what I've got here. Wow. Wow. Dogs. And a bookmark. Wow, this is a new one from... Well, it doesn't say so. Anyway, it's still beautiful. So I'm going to get cracking on this during this, these days or this weekend. However, this is what Zeus is the most excited about, I think. So, and yes, it's not book, it's for him. It's some new toys and a cat litter bag thing. Anyway, so yes, Zeus, I will get to that right now. And as per usual, Zeus is way more interested in the actual box than in the content. I just finished this book, which is a Norwegian book translated into Danish. However, I think it's only been published here in Scandinavia. It is called Odin's Barn by Siri Petersen. So I'm sorry if you are from England or from other parts of the world, you cannot get this book yet. But I will tell you that it is a young adult fantasy novel which is based on Norse mythology and it's actually really good. I didn't have high expectations when I started reading but it's really good. I gave this one three stars. It came out here in Denmark on May the 13th so if you are interested I do recommend that you pick it up and read it. 
Can you hear me? So I just finished a book which was a new release of this month and that is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. A really cute story and it was exactly what I was looking for. A nice and summery story that would make me smile and make me excited for the upcoming season. Basically this is the story of four friends who are on their summer vacation and who have to figure out how to spend their summer and the main character decides to take on a job as a dog walker and things take off from there. It does have its flaws, it is very young adult romancy, it has its cliches but I just, I still really like this story. So in the end I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. And also I really like the fact that in The Unexpected Everything we do get a location which is also part of Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, and I just really like that touch that you could recognize a place that was in one of her other books. So I just thought I would mention that as well. I'm currently standing in my kitchen about to make pancakes, but before I do so I have time to tell you about yet another book I finished, and that is this beautiful, beautiful book, one of the most gorgeous books I own now. This is Mischief by Fair Weldon, a collection of 21 of her best short stories. I am going to do a full video review of this book as well as another book because both those titles will be out in Denmark in May. But you might not see that video until June because the, la the second book will not be out until the end of May and I need to read it before I can review it. But basically this book was so surprising. I loved it and I ended up giving it 4.5 out of 5 stars. If you want to know why, you can check out my video review in a few weeks. I don't know if this interests you at all but I have ordered a bag or a batch of American candy, some of my favorite American candy and it just arrived so I have something to snack on this weekend while reading. Basically I got this which is quite a lot but I mean I didn't I don't do this often so I've got some chips and some of my favorite chocolates Hershey's with what is it called cookies and cream my absolute favorite I've got some more chips. <laughs> I've been naughty, I will admit that. I've got some white Reese's, which I've never tasted before, so this is going to be interesting. And some more chips. I've got this Cheetos Crunchy kind of thing. And then obviously I also had to get some Oreos. And this is with peanut butter, which we don't have in Denmark. So I might snack a little bit on this while reading this weekend, just because... Spring is here and I want to. Since I last spoke to you, I have finished half of the chimes by Anna Smell on my Kindle. And the reason why I only read half of it is because it was an original idea, but I just knew that it wasn't a book for me. It was kind of messy, kind of boring, and the things it was dealing with didn't really interest me. The characters didn't really interest me, so I decided to DNF it halfway, but I do believe that the idea behind the story is very interesting. It is now May the 25th and it is hot here in Denmark. I really like it. And I have finished yet another book, which is a classic. The Portrait of a Lady by Henry James. I was a bit reluctant when going into this book just because I'd heard that Henry James was rather derogative towards women. And of course, I wouldn't like to read that, but I feel like this book was the opposite because it contains a main character called Isabel who is not the ordinary woman. She is very carefree, she would like to go into the world and be free and experience new people and new places and for that reason she does not want to accept any of the proposals that she gets from various men. I really liked Isabel and I really liked this story. I was pleasantly surprised and in the end I ended up giving this one four stars. I feel like this vlog is going to be super long just because I'm reading a lot these days which is amazing but still <laughs> I will have some problems trying to figure out how to do this but the next book I finished it is the day after and I just finished The Strangest Child by Ellen Hollinghurst the other book I was reading and this was my first book by Alan Hollinghurst. I had heard things about him and I was curious to read this book. So this is about 
Oh, someone is looking. Anyway, so this is about Daphne and we follow Daphne as she is a teenager until she is a very old lady. But the, int but the interesting thing about this book is that we skip ahead several years and then suddenly we are in between new characters and new POVs and we have no idea how that connects with Daphne until later on. So I like that. It was a pleasant, it was a good way to write the story. I also will say that the execution of this book was not the best. There were some very dull passages that I would have liked to skim but I didn't. So all in all I really like this story. It was very interesting but it could have been executed better so I ended up giving it three stars. And let me add one thing. This book also has LGTBQ items in it or what is it called? Items. It has that LGTBQ thing in it which you might find interesting and which might make you want to read it. So I thought I would add that as well. Zeus is still alive in case you're wondering, <laughs> very much alive. He's having a hot day but he is, he's pleasant, he's comfortable, that's what I'm trying to say. I just got out of the shower so excuse me if I look a little bit wet but yesterday I finished the last two books of this month and of course I would like to tell you about them. First of all I read Purple Hibiscus by Shimamanda Noguchi Adishi which is about Nigeria, a family in Nigeria and it's very subtle because we don't realize what is going on. We hear about this family and then everything evolves and we realize that there are so many layers between the lines so that this family is actually going through some pretty horrible things. It was very interesting what I was expecting from Shimamanda and I gave this one four stars. And the other one I was reading is a book that will be out in Denmark here in May. So it's one of those books that I will include in a full video review. And that is Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. I'm sure you've heard of this. This is a very popular young adult book about World War II and about this family who is being deported to Siberia. I'm not going to go too much into depth about my thoughts on this book, but I did give it three stars. I know I might become unpopular now, but if you want to know more about why I gave it three stars, then look out for my review, which will probably be out sometime in June. And that is it for this reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back next month with a new video vlog. So until then, have a great day everyone and happy reading.